When a game series has existed as long as Trackmania, its history becomes something more than simple records. Thousands of players have left their mark on all of the games with legendary innovation, ominous myth and perfect stories. I, Lou Fock, have been playing Trackmania actively since 2016. All of the things I've heard over the years have fascinated me, from community members and friends alike. And so, working together with many of them, we've tried our best to gather as many secrets as we can find and put them in one place, this iceberg. Considering the size, this will be a three-part documentary going through three layers at a time from the sky to the abyss. A number of members from the community will be voicing parts of the video and we aim to explain every single entry one at a time. So without further ado, let's begin with layer 1, the sky. The sky is the very first layer of this iceberg. On this layer figures information that even if you have never played the game, you probably already have heard of. Now let's begin with the explanation. Bugslide The bugslide is one of the most well-known tricks in the game. When you land 90 degrees sideways, you can launch a so-called bugslide by pressing and holding brake. It will keep your speed while doing a very sharp turn in the direction your car faces. Cut. Cutting is the act of skipping past parts of a map to finish a map faster than the normal way. Most cuts are unintentional and use a number of bugs and exploits found in Trackmania, as well as precise jumps and other tricks. Cutting is made far more likely due to Trackmania's checkpoint system, where there's no defined order to the checkpoints allowing people to do things like reroute the entire map in order to drive less road. So as long as you cross every checkpoint and finish, it's a legal run. Entire communities have been formed around cutting, such as the famous Fastest Way Only. Cutting is often far more difficult than driving the normal way, and can take hours, weeks, or even months to get a cut that's faster than regular driving. Hefes Got This Run Hefes Got This Run is a meme that started when the user Bruno Perreria posted a video titled But Then Hefes Got This Run on his YouTube channel. He chose an ad with a car accident with the audio instead being the famous first from virtual. After that upload, Trackmania fans have repeated it to the point where it's unavoidable in every corner of the community. 08 Maps When Nadeo released their new Trackmania 2 Canyon game in 2011, the map AO8 was a bit different compared to the other maps. It was mapped as a set of stairs which is a popular kind of lol track that people hunted back in the days in Trackmania Nations forever. When Trackmania 2 Stadium, Valley and Lagoon were released, they kept using the AO8 slot as a stairs map. This style of map was reused in TM2020 by Nadeo as well, and now creating a competition on the 8th day of every month on the stair map. Skill Points now they used points based on the ranking to establish leaderboards on the solo campaigns. It started with Trackmania United Forever, then with all the Trackmania 2 games by using this formula. This means the player in second place gets half the points of first place, and a placement of fifth will earn you a fifth of the point of first place, and so on. This was switched to a more complex formula in TM2020 as shown here. This is arguably an improvement over the old formula, where the same position is worth the same amount of points, regardless of the track or how many people have played it. It takes over 21,000 players in total for the lowest amount of points to be reached, being 400. This is different to Trackmania 2, where a track with 21,000 players goes below 400 points at 4,200. Helix Helix is the username of Florent Castellera. He is known for being the founder of Nadio that developed many games such as Virtual Keeper and in 2003, the first Trackmania game, a game that will eventually become a much loved two decade series. Action Keys Action Keys were introduced in late 2021 to TM2020 in order to try and give the player more control over the car at particular corners. By pressing number keys on the keyboard, the steering would be locked to the respective percentile as a maximum. For example, pressing 4 on the keyboard would lock the steering at 40%. It worked like a reverse dead zone, any input above the specified value would read as a percentage of the maximum steering it was set to. Since its release, it has been controversial within the Trackmania community, as being accurate at those specific values was no longer necessary. In February of 2022, Natty responded by limiting the action key values to each 20% band rather than 10%. This change was implemented to allow controller players to map action keys and level the playing field. Chat Format Tags Trackmania allows you to customize or colorize in-game text, including your nickname and map names, all using the dollar sign as prefix. 
You can use three digits from the hex code following the dollar sign to colorize the text. In TM2020, you can only use this for map names and club tags due to there being no official nickname system. Trackmania Grand League The Trackmania Grand League, or TMGL for short, was launched in 2019 as the largest seasonal tournament funded by Nadeo, in which 16 players compete over multiple weeks for the title of World Champion. TMGL shifted the main competitive style from tech maps played in rounds to complex mixed maps played in an endurance format. Since its inception, the TMGL format has seen many changes, with Nodeo trying to find a balance between viewer engagement, player experience and their own vision of competitive trackmania. After multiple reworks of the points system, changes in promotion and relegation and the introduction of the TMGL World Cup, Nadeo recently announced the Trackmania World Tour, which encompasses the previous competitions but now in a 2v2 format. Details of the World Tour are still unknown at this point. Skin Horn 3D Models In your profile, you are able to change how your car looks. The default car can be painted using the paint tool, and you may also change the sound of your horn in your profile. Unless you have a locator file in the Trackmania folders, these changes will only be local to you and your experience. 3D models can be made and imported into the game, but your car's performance and hitbox doesn't change. Mania Planet Mania Planet is the sequel to TMUF and was Nadio's first game published by Ubisoft. Nadio had ambitions to release the big three game genres on this platform, RPG, FPS, and racing games. The first game in the Mania Planet series to release was Trackmania 2 Canyon in 2011. Shoot Mania and Quest Mania were also announced as the FPS and RPG games respectively. It also provided the foundations for TM2020, which uses the same base code as Mania Planet. Cup of the Day and Track of the Day. At the release of Nadio's newest Trackmania game, named Trackmania 2020 by the community, they unveiled a brand new daily game mode, Track of the Day. Every 24 hours, a community map would be chosen for everyone to play, and have the leaderboards be locked once those 24 hours are up. After being received well, in the November of 2020, Nadio decided to add a twist to Track of the Day. While originally, at the end of the 24 hours, the next track would simply be put onto the servers, we now have Cup of the Day. While before only happening once a day, when the maps would transition, two reruns were added in the August of 2021 for players who couldn't make the main event. They each happened 8 hours after the last one, being named Cup of the Night and Cup of the Morning respectively by the community. Nose Boost the nose bug is a trick where you are launched to the side while performing a bug slide while your car faces the ground. Nose boosts are a humanly near impossible trick that can be used to gain absurd amount of speed in no time, and are done by chaining several nose bugs together within many seconds. This trick was revealed with the rise of TASIS or Tool Assisted Speedrun in mid 2021 and has been used to destroy records with crazy reroutes. TMNF, TMUF Trackmania United Forever is the 8th installment of Trackmania to the series. It aimed to update the existing stadium format of Trackmania ESWC. It was the first game in the series that didn't require the physical copy to be played. It bundles all the environment of the previous games. TMUF was released on the 18th of April 2008 and Nation Forever released by the day after. Trackmania Nation Forever was a free-to-play version of Trackmania United Forever, which only had the stadium environment. Rammstein. Rammstein is the German word for curb, and it is infamous in Trackmania for having buggy geometry. It is found on the edge of the stadium roadblocks and may cause bugs, where a wheel of the car will be launched into the air because of some faulty collision. This bug was particularly prevalent in older TM games, such as ESWC. It is sometimes called a Rammstein due to a mispronunciation of the word by non-German speakers. Rammstein is a German rock band, who are unrelated. CP Endbug each checkpoint, or CP for short, and finish block has a hitbox which triggers the CP when hit. Due to the hitbox being a simple shape, sometimes it sticks out of the edge of the block, allowing the checkpoint or finish to be triggered from an unintended position. This has been used to fully extend in many maps which have cut routes which require hitting the specific parts of the blocks. Checkpoint bugs exist in all environments. For example, in Stadium, many checkpoints are able to be collected from the underside, and in Valley, ramming into the word checkpoint on it can trigger it. Slow motion scandal. In order to better understand what sorts of inputs the top players were doing, community member Donadigo created a tool which allows the user to extract the inputs from a replay file, something that was not possible previously. 
After some sketchy inputs performed by the top player Riolu and other well-known Trackmania players were found, a formal investigation was launched wherein they concluded that these players were using programs like Cheat Engine to slow down the game and have more precise movements. A video on this topic by Virtual explains it in full depth. Zerati Cup the Zerati Cup is a competition that started in 2013 in TM2 Stadium, hosted by one of the biggest French streamers, Zerator. This cup started as a joke by creating terrible maps for the show and putting cash prizes so the best player will be interested in playing. Every year, since 2013, the competition grew bigger and bigger to the point where in the 10th edition, in 2022, more than 3,000 people registered and over 100,000 people watched the finals being played in Accor Hotel Arena of Bercy in Paris, in France. Trial and RPG Maps Trial and RPG are map styles that focus more around the difficulty of finishing a map rather than doing it quickly. They rely on precise tricks, jumps, and intended use of exploits as the only possible way to make it to the next checkpoint. The best trial and RPG players need to have a solid understanding of the game's physics, and even with years of experience, some maps can take hours. The difference between trial maps and RPG maps are focused around one thing, pathfinding. While trials are simply meant to be a series of difficult obstacles, RPG maps force the player to puzzle out the actual route you need to drive. There are even trial maps that are so difficult that not a single person has ever finished them, such as Simon 900's map Final Enigma, and definitely for a good reason. Press Forward Maps Press Forward Maps have been a staple of Trackmania since the inception of the track editor, and feature the craziest stunts of any tracks due to them being pre-calculated and not requiring any user input. BF tracks were often the most viral Trackmania videos on YouTube prior to the rise of Virtual's documentary style, with some reaching nearly 10 million views. With more effect blocks present, Press Nothing tracks also started becoming more common in TM2020, popularized by La Bomba. One of the most popular PF maps is Phantom Fake, which is also the most awarded map on TMNF Exchange with over a thousand awards. Uberbug The Uberbug, first found by Trabadia, is a bug which happens in a stadium environment of Trackmania. It is performed by first landing in a bug slide, then having the front wheels lift on the bottom of the car while colliding with the wall. A small oversight in the equation involving the collision makes the speed of the car go very very high and the car launches in some uncontrollable direction. While people aren't able to manipulate exactly where the Uber bug goes, Task Tool are able to manipulate its direction to great effect, allowing for extremely fast times. Kaki as Kaki Kaki as Kaki is a competition first held in September 2017 in TMNF. It was a collection of 70 of the hardest short maps ever made. Most entries here were no more than 20 seconds and required extreme luck to complete. Often, Kaki as Kaki maps made use of some bugs such as the Uberbird to complete. In this month-long competition, it was considered an achievement to complete just one of the tracks, let alone all of them. New Rare Edition put this map count to 50 or 75. This brought forth a new genre of track, now called Kaki, which represent extremely difficult LOL maps. Kaki as Kaki also has a spin-off in most other environments, for example Kaki Reloaded in TM 2020 or Canyon as Kaki in Canyon. All these events follow the same format. Now let's move on to the second layer, tip of the iceberg. It figures funny stories, terminologies, and some memes of the community. You will still probably already have heard of most of the information present here. Two wheels. If you are lucky enough, you can land your car in a two-wheel position when your car is on its side. In this position, the car still moves slightly with an average speed of one block per hour. TM Next TM Next is used internally in the game code to refer to the latest game, TM2020. This emoji. This entry refers to Hylis tweets in general. You see, he often uses this particular emoji on his tweets and that's a bit funny, not gonna lie. Trackmania Web Games over the years, two web games related to Trackmania were released. First, around 2005, when Trackmania Sunrise came out, a game called Mini Trackmania got released. This game is a 2D version of Trackmania Sunrise with a side view of the island car. The gameplay consists of dosing the acceleration to pass through most jumps you can. 
The second game, Trackmania Bleeds, was released together with Trackmania 2020 by Ubisoft. This, again, is a 2D version of their new game. In this game, you play against bots. You could play against Royal Player though, but no one plays it anymore. FWO FWO, or Fastest Way Only, is a cutting team created by the German player Nino. The main goal of the team is to cut as many Nadeo maps as possible. In order to join it, you have to execute a brand new cut on an official stadium map that nobody has ever pulled off before and get a world record in the process. Until 2020, you were able to join FWO by completing one of their requested cuts. Just because you could perform the cut doesn't mean you were granted automatic entry though. You would then become a trial member for a month, at the end of which, the current members would vote for you to stay or go. First of the month, COTD. While most tracks of the day are meant to be interesting, smooth, competitive, and or well-built, on April Fools of 2021, Nadeo decided to use a joke map instead. The community responded very well to it, so the next month they did the same thing, and have kept doing it ever since. Now, every first of the month, Trackmania players eagerly await what new map Nadeo has in store for them. While most first of the month maps rely on inhuman precision or luck, some are just silly concepts or rely on things like bug slides and other exploits. Speed Slides Speed slides in Stadium are done by overlapping your skid marks while sliding and going above 400 speed. An optimal speed slide starts off with about 50% overlap at 400 speed, and moves closer to fully overlapping as the speed approaches 1000. Speed slides are generally initiated through jumps, transitions, or elevation changes, but can also be done with a small tap of the brake, which is called an S4D. Speed slides are the core of the competitive full speed scene, and is one of the hardest mechanics to truly master. Speed slides in the canyon environment appear often in campaign maps, used at the start of the map to gain a small amount of speed compared to no speed slide. You need to do a small brake tap to initiate a slide, and then hold the slide through the turn. These are generally never used outside of the first 5 seconds of a map in Trackmania 2. However, in Turbo it is slightly different, as it rewards smooth steering and can be done whenever you are going slow. Canyon in Trackmania 2 rewards jagged inputs at the correct times. This is due to some physics differences between the two games. Speed slides in the Lagoon environment very rarely appear, as there is only one instance of one being used in the official campaign on BO4. It is also known as a gear boost due to the fact that it occurs when the car is in a sharp slide and gears up from the first to second gear. It can only be used for sharp turns near the start of the map. Camera 4 and beyond With the first Trackmania game, released in 2003, Nadeo had been a bit creative with the cameras. Cameras 1, 2 and 3 were already how we still know them today, but there are others with some odd angles. Cam 5, for example, is a top-down view, while others provide a view from the side. Cam 4 is less adventurous, as it's much like Cam 2, just closer to the car, maybe comparable to the alternative Cam 2 available in TM2020. If you want to try out these cameras, Cam 4, 5 and 6 are still available in TMUF, but only for the original environments Rally, Desert and Snow. Axel Penalty this entry refers to the new features in Trackmania 2020 known as Acceleration Penalty. When you collide with a wall, the game will reduce the acceleration of your car, leading to a much bigger punishment for hitting a wall compared to previous games. The car will remain in the acceleration penalty state for a certain amount of time depending on the harshness of your impact, after which acceleration will return to normal. This was implemented by Nadio to discourage a technique known as wall banging, where the car drives into a wall in order to make a turn sharper than it can normally do. It is less common, but still exists in other environments. Official Runs The official run system, beginning with TMUF, is a way to obtain skill points, but not for free. In TMUF, an official run can be started in exchange for in-game currency, at which point you have one attempt to complete the track with the fastest time possible. Initially in TM2, you had one shot and an official run every 5 minutes. If you failed, you had to wait 5 real-world minutes for the next attempt. This proved to be very frustrating for a lot of people, and it wasted a lot of time, so Nadea decided to change it and make all runs in TM2 official and therefore eligible to gain skill points with. You did not have to be as consistently good or as patient anymore, just get a good run once and then you were done. This system is also used in TM2020, where each PB counts towards skill points and trophies. TM2020 Head Protection 
Early footage of TM 2020 displayed an exposed stadium driver where a crash will surely end in a swift decapitation. In order to combat this, Nadio gave the car a tiny addition to ensure the driver's neck remained attached to their cranium. Dragon Eat This trick was found by Dragon PNTM while building a map for Kaki Reloaded 2. The Dragon Eat trick requires gathering speed outside of the stadium, using one of the outside ramps to jump, and letting the car hit the grass, holding grass light inputs, and then praying you get a yeet. This trick is mostly used to validate alternate campaign maps that don't have another way to finish. STM The Super Trackmaster Metal, or STM for short, is a special kind of metal only achievable in Trackmania Turbo. Before the game's release, Nabeu asked some of the top players of the time, such as Zypher, Pac, Tween, Raysance, Marius89, Neo, and many others, to get some very good times on all 200 of the campaign maps available. Now, getting all 200 STMs requires extreme skill in Lagoon, Valley, Canyon, and Stadium, the four environments present in Trackmania Turbo. As of now, only 20 people have all 200 medals. In order to unlock the variant campaign which has all the super medals, named Super Solo, you must first get all 200 regular Trackmaster medals. Trackmaster medals are the equivalent of other medals in other Trackmania games. Here is a comprehensive list of all the people that have managed to get all 200 STMs so far, in order of completion. Riolu, Spammy, Azir, Demedi, Speed, Summer, Afi, Gravel Guy, Lars, Jolti Sonic, Bushera, Fanatic, Krina Tiax, Mime, Jairul, Spammy a second time, Voyager, Zyra, Ender, Xon, and Rotaker. Easter eggs on Nadeo maps. On some Nadeo maps, the mappers decided to build in a little secret. Many of them are in TM2020 since the community are building the tracks, but you can find some in older games like TM2 or TMUF as well. We will not spoil the location of these easter eggs for you so that you can find them yourself. French President Playing Checkmania On Friday the 3rd June 2022, the French President, Emmanuel Macron, invited people from the eSport community so he could inform himself about it. He then played Trackmania 2020 on the map Spring 01 with Zerator in front of the cameras. TMNF, TMUF, Ghost Skins If you play against the Metal Ghosts in TMNF or TMUF, the game will choose a random skin from your skins folder and select it as the ghost that the Metal will be using. This can lead to some pretty funny moments. Plasterx Reactions Plasterx is a Polish Trackmania player that started around 2008. He is known for being extremely fast, but he is also known for another reason, his reactions. Let's fucking go! Oh kurwa! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh! Shitfest Shitfest is a weekly competition happening on Monday evening where mappers create the worst possible or shittiest maps they can for the server to play cup on. Shitfest began back in August 2017 and has been a popular casual tournament ever since. Non-deleted cheated records At the launch of Trackmania 2020, Nodea was faced with a big cheating issue. Pretty much all of the top world times were filled with cheaters setting impossible records. After a few days, they managed to get rid of all of them on the official solo leaderboards, but didn't touch all of the club campaigns. Even to this day, cheated times from this brief era are on some club leaderboards, including ones still used in the official multiplayer map rotation. TM2020 isn't the only game with cheated times still on the leaderboards, however. 
On TMNF, you can't go a single day without the official leaderboards being cluttered with obviously cheated times, some even dating back years now. The TM2 series isn't free from its own collection of cheated records either. For example, Thoringer, a player who cheated times in TM2 Lagoon, created a title pack of precision-focused tracks. After it was found out that he was a cheater, Lagoon players realized that not only did he fake many official campaign runs, but also many runs on this title pack. In retaliation, many legitimate players from the Lagoon community all collectively cheated for world records on these maps, the records of which still stand to this day. In TM2 Canyon, as well, times set by Riolu under his alt account Bonbon are still standing. These are just some of the known cheated records still floating around, and it's possible that even more are simply waiting to be discovered. Sparks In Canyon, Valley, and Lagoon, colliding with a wall will create sparks from the point of contact for a little bit of visual flair. However, these sparks appear a few pixels before you actually collide with the wall. This means that it is possible to get close enough to the wall that sparks appear, but your car is not slowed down. Interestingly, sparks do not seem to appear while drifting close to the wall, and in stadium, sparks only appear when you actually touch the wall and slow down. Cup driven in a plane In 2019, a competition named Air France Cup, sponsored by the flying company Air France, was played in TM2 Stadium, but with the tournament's final driven on a flying plane. This cup was created to advertise the new seats from their planes that provide decent connection to the internet. The winner of that cup was Coco. Carl Jr. driving into the sign. During the mapping of Zelati Cup 2018, Zerator placed signs with checkpoint screens on them. He then tested the track with his viewers and with Carl Jr. on a server. Carl Jr. fell directly into his trap. This moment is particularly known for how stupid and funny it is to see a world champion being trapped like that. DX Tweak DX Tweak is a program which allows full modification of analog maps on a controller. This means you are able to increase the dead zone beyond normal, or make a full input actually read as 50% in order to be more precise and realistic in recent games. However, in Trackmania, controversy surrounds it. When used for more than mere calibration, DX Tweak may provide an unfair advantage to those at the highest echelons of the game. For this reason, DX Tweak is considered an illegal tool in TM2, but is still allowed in TMUF for historical reasons. 92 Bob 92 Bob is a mysterious player who suddenly launched to number one on the TMUF solo leaderboards. He has no contact whatsoever with the Trackmania community, and the sudden gain in his points has led to some theories on who this player is. Due to their rise around the mid-year of 2021, 92 Bob could be the infamous player of Riolu on an alternate account. This is yet unconfirmed and most likely never will be. The account itself is not new, created around 2008, but has only been putting records down since 2021. Riolu's Interview Right before the cheating scandal came out, Riolu was interviewed by GTV, a German YouTube channel, mainly about his career and how successful it was. However, this interview was uploaded after his cheating was revealed to the community. Because they interviewed a cheater, the video was not taken well and has since been unlisted from their channel. Cheat Codes Across all the Trackmania games, you can find multiple cheat codes to access menu or do action like unlocking maps without requirements. The most famous one is the cheat code to unlock all the maps for Trackmania Nation Forever and Trackmania United Forever. When you are in the menu, hold right click while typing the letters UNLOCK. Then go to the solo mode and ta-da! On Trackmania Turbo, you can follow these steps to show your super solo progression, even if you didn't unlock this menu by obtaining all the 200 Trackmaster medals. No spin. A nose spin is a very rare bug thing your car does by accident when you land or get smashed into a wall. Your car starts to spin on one of its front wheels and sometimes even accelerating faster and faster, resulting in incredibly fast spins. A nose spin can even be extended indefinitely as long as your car doesn't fall or touch a wall. The player Alien is seen here doing a nose spin that went on for over an hour and could have continued forever if you wanted it to. That concludes the second layer. Now, let's dive under water to explore the reefs of the Trackmania iceberg with the third layer, the surface. 
At this point, beginners will start to learn new things about the game. In fact, the most well-known things are already behind us. True Talent Cup In the July of 2013 in TMNF, a group named TM Masters began hosting a weekly knockout competition. Called the True Talent Cup, abbreviated as TTC, players would drive a series of maps without ever having seen them before, sight-reading it as they go. The map packs came from well-established mappers and players like Kisla, Spam, Masa, Nevermind, Tona, and many more. The cup transitioned from game to game, going from TMNF to TM2 in the summer of 2018, seeing player counts regularly higher than 200 every cup. While it started as purely tech, the maps branched out to all kinds of different styles, appealing to and drawing in more players, and even held some cups on different environments entirely. The TTC eventually came to an end, with the final cup taking place on September 24th, 2020, due to Trackmania's player base shifting to the newest game in the series. Trackmania Unlimited, Infinity, and Challenge Edit. In older games, it was impossible to natively block mix in the editor, so external programs had to be created to make that possible. The first program to do so was Challenge Edit, which could access a map's data to manually move or change blocks, regardless of block mix rules. However, this tool was really frustrating to use, mainly due to the fact that you had to exit out of the map and manually input coordinates of where you wanted to move the block to. Chokmania Unlimited was developed by Arc in 2010, with the intention to make this process easier. Some of the first and most important features included block mixing, custom map sizes, custom blocks, and environment mixing, directly in Chokmania's in-game editor. After development was picked up by Tomek in 2015, some new features would appear, including being able to modify game physics, modify the size of blocks, and off-grid mapping, among other things. Free TM2 Demo System A new universal demo system was announced with the release of Mania Planet 3.0 in April 2014, which allowed players without gaming keys to play with full access for 3 hours. This system was often buggy though, and sometimes got stuck at 3 hours, allowing the players to play indefinitely. This system was scrapped prior to the release of Mania Planet 4 in May 2017 to be replaced by Channels. The Channels system features 1 hour rotation of various game modes and environment, as well as a separate rotation for Shoot Mania. Royal Modbots there are bots in the Royal mode implemented by Nadio to shrink the waiting time of player to find a game. These bots have realistic username and don't talk in chat. Bots only appear in whole teams, as a player, you cannot share a team with a bot. The Royal community in their open letter to Nadio pointed out that the bots were overpowered on some harder maps, they will be even better than humans on tricky maps leading to real players being eliminated by these bots. The bots aren't AI. They are replays of random people from the tops of the leaderboards. Bird blocks. In the editor, there are some blocks with black marks on them that look very similar to normal road or dirt blocks. These blocks have a flock of low poly birds on them, which are spooked when a car drives into it. The birds do not have hitboxes and the car will just clip through them, but it is nice visually. They may cause a lot of lag when used in excess. Nadio Snadio. In 2019, the solo hunters from TMNF started a project called Nadeo Snadio, where the goal was to beat all of the 65 campaign world records. They ended up beating 56, 48 without Briotus cheated records, out of 65 by the end of December. The remaining 9 maps that they did not manage to get were beaten in recent years with the last one being C10, which was recently beaten this year on the 30th July 2022. The name is a reference to a Khaki's Khaki, where the goal is to finish as many maps as possible in a month. Diggs, Hayden and TMGL maps Table, a Trackmania Grand League mapper, decided to place hidden digs into his TMGL Fall 2020 maps such as Dune or Paradise. When Nadia realized, they kicked him from the mapping team but kept the maps with a dickless version. When questioned, Table explained that he did that because he disliked the way mappers were treated by the studio. Table also tried to put dicks in Nadia's campaign maps but they were never published. Mania Stars 
In Trackmania 2, some players have stars by their nickname. These are called Mania Stars and are essentially a popularity contest between players. The more Mania Stars you have, the more people have voted for you. In order to get a single Mania Star, one person must vote for you, and it becomes exponentially harder from there. Carl Jr. and Zerator are the only people with all five Mania Stars next to their name. To vote for someone, you must log into the official Mania Planet website, ManiaPlanet.com, and then head to your account and Mania Stars can be found from there. Spider Trick The Spider Trick was found in 2012 by Igntool and consists of face palming a wall with the nose of your car, then pressing a direction, which will make your car go into that direction or the opposite direction. He made an 11 second lol map with that trick named Spider Mind 4 Go to Bed, which consists in of one spider bug into a wall pipe. Unfortunately, that map was made for fucking around with the guys, so it was never released and it's now lost today. Igntool wanted to use the trick on a serious map, but went inactive at some point and taught Simon 900 to use it instead. The first trial map to use the trick was Rainbow Tylenol released in November 2014. Afterwards, the trick got pretty much ignored until 2018, when Ink Null made a Spider-Man themed trial map, Hydrogen. The trick then appeared a few times on other maps, such as Khaki Maps, which is how it caught the attention of the general public. The hardest Spider-Man trial in the game is probably Spider-Man's Adventures, released in 2020 by Ink Tool. No Grip Plus Air When Nadia released new effect blocks in TM2, they brought the No Grip block that significantly reduces the grip of your car. Shortly after its release, players discovered that if you have the effect but in air, you can change the direction of your car by steering it in a certain way. Some maps were built to use this effect, and even a zero Zerotron map used it. Cheated STM while investigating Riolu, Donadigo and Virtual found out that some of the STMs driven for Trackmania Turbo were cheated. That's right, Riolu cheated all of his STM runs that were then sent to Nadeo and used in the final game. However, Riolu was not the only one to cheat his STM times. Funnily enough, former Canyon player Lawrence also cheated his times, but ironically enough, Lawrence's STM times are amongst the easiest STMs in the game that most people can beat in just a few minutes of trying, even though they're cheater drones. AI playing Trackmania The French artificial intelligence engineer Josh made some explaining videos about him teaching AI playing Trackmania. He made the AI play on multiple styles of track like precision, dirt, road and even pipes. His explanation videos are among the most popular Trackmania videos on YouTube. Plus, the French podcast Underscore invited Gwen and Afi to play against their own AI. Spoiler, Afi and Gwen completely crushed it. Stereoscopic Mod The Stereoscopic Mod is a not-so-hidden setting on the modules of some version of Trackmania 2 and previous games. It allowed the game to be played with red and blue 3D glasses. It is unsure why this was implemented, since for something like an arcade racing game with loops and tricks, a 3D view could lead very quickly to motion sickness. Trackmania 2020 removed the menu option, but the mod is still accessible with a shortcut. Zerator leaking stuff On the 13th June 2020, Zerator had access to the game almost a month before everyone. He showed multiple aspects of the game that Nadio asked him to show, but also things he shouldn't. In fact, he accidentally leaked the name of the Alpha members. He also leaked stuff when he went to the club menu. Alpha members even created clubs named Zerator Stop Leaking. TM China Nadia released a different Trackmania 2020 game for the Chinese audience, which has an old features no longer available in Trackmania. In fact, this version allowed players to change the color of their names and wasn't connected to the server from the original version. Trackmania campaigns mapping fails. Among the 15 plus games Nadia has released, many solo maps have mapping fails such as misplaced scenery and random blocks placed somewhere on the track. Fails can even occur in the media tracker. 
Nadio maps include an end race and a replay sequence which follows the car with different camera angles and effects. 95% of the time, blocks place and the media tracker are created as intended. However, for the other 5%, that's the mapping fails we are discussing. Examples of mapping fails within the TM2 games include things such as the misplaced corner on A14, misplaced dirt road and canyon terraforming on D14 from canyon, misplaced road on B01, and randomly placed water on B13 from valley, and the misplaced finish block on A11 from stadium. For the media tracker, the end race slash replay sequence has an interesting mistake on the tracks D03 and B07 in canyon. For this, the anchor and the target are broken, forcing the game to set the camera angle and target position to 0, 0, 0. This gives us the hilarious cinematic camera of dirt with the occasional show and replay. Tree Paradise removed from Chakmina Grand League. Tree Paradise is a map released for Fall 2021 TMGL season. The map was removed shortly after because too many people complained about the identity. In fact, the identity was based on driving through a narrow forest without the help of action keys since they are banned from Chakmina Grand League. Ultra Shadows In the recent Trackmania games, you have four options to calculate the shadows very fast, fast, default and high. But there is also an extra option called Ultra which is disabled by default. In TM2, the option can be enabled in the launcher while for TM2020, it requires the editing of a configuration file. If a player that doesn't have access to those options opens a map calculated with Ultra Shadows, the game will render them as high and it will cause many visual bugs like the car turning full black on some parts of the map. Star Force Star Force is a driver that implements DRM, which means copyright protection, for older games such as TMO, TMS and TMESWC. This driver was working fine on Windows 7, but it's not compatible with Windows 8 and above. This caused players to not have direct access to the games anymore. In 2020, a community member called Stingler published a video showcasing a patch that gave players access to the older games without having to run a virtual machine. Half Trick the half trick is a trick discovered by Hori back in 2012 and later popularized by Hefes in 2018 under the name half trick. The essence of the half trick is to gain a better RNG booster pattern on three or more consecutive RNG boosters by barely cutting the second booster. The reason this is faster is because the effect of the booster stays a little longer after you leave it, which means that having no RNG booster block after a 200% boost is better than cancelling it out with a 100% one. In the half trick, you drive onto the side of the booster after you get 200% and then drive back on it to avoid the slowdown. Free wheel skip. There are many ways to bypass the free wheel block and its consequences. The most common way is to just skip it by flying over or cutting past the part where it's in. But the players also found more wicked ways to do it. Wasker on the kakiest khaki map minus 100 showed to the world his new way of bypassing the free wheel by clipping the wheel into the wall. Another way to bypass it is to go over it without grip, for example in a two-wheel position or sliding on your roof. Strip bug. When you play Trackmania, you may randomly stumble across a bug called a script bug when you go through menus. No one really knows why it happens, but it does so on many different games such as Trackmania 2020 or the TM2 games. This bug does nothing but just blocking the view until you quit the page it opens. You can manually cause a script bug by waiting a very long time before finishing a map. Shoot Mania 2020 Because Trackmania 2020 is based off of the same engine that Mania Planet is run on, there are some assets still hidden away in the game files, including the mode where you can play as the Shoot Mania character. Open Planet was able to access these assets and eventually a plugin was made that allowed you to choose a Shoot Mania 2020 character to play with even when creating a map. Players use this to make parkour maps early on, but it isn't talked about much anymore. There has been no comment about Shipmini 2020 from Ubisoft Nadeo as far as we know. Fake Water Exclusively in the rally environment in Trackmini United and Trackmini Original, 
The water was fake, so if you fell in it, it was impossible to get out of. Quest Mania Quest Mania was like Shoot Mania, in the sense that it is a spin-off of Track Mania. The game was announced in 2010 and was supported to be a virtual tabletop game with two environment, history and future. Unfortunately, it was never released and Nadio hasn't talked about it in years now. TM Forum's Trickmania Exchange Hack On the 20th December 2021, both TM Forum's and TMX got hacked simultaneously, which resulted in the websites shutting down to rework the security with TMX completely reworking the sites from scratch in the process. After two months, on the 22nd February 2022, the TMX crew announced the return of the Nations Forever and United TMX sections. All the remaining sections of TMX were back on the 20th June 2022. Bumper Blocks In TM2, during the 2019 Zerator Cup, Nadeo released new effect blocks. Part of the set of new blocks were the bumper blocks. Two variants of this block exist, a yellow one and a red one that differ by how high the block will launch your car into the air. Nadeo only imported the texture and effect of it into TM2020 though. They never officially released the blocks, but players then made and released the blocks on their own. Cut world records beaten by normal way. In the thousands of maps Nadeo has released over the years, a large number of them had cuts discovered. But sometimes, the intended way beats the cut because of how close the two ways are. The best example is D12 Speed, where Jaff drove a world record with the cut back in 2015 and the run that ended up beating it was without the shortcut by Darkbringer in 2019. Valley Backward is faster. In some specific instances, driving backwards in Trackmania 2 Valley or Trackmania 2 Canyon was faster. Originally, this was discovered by accident by Marius89 during a canyon tournament. This trick supposedly works since turning reduces your speed and when going backwards you are subtracting your speed from a negative number. These environments had soft backward speed caps, however, those caps only applied when you were not steering, meaning that they could be bypassed while turning backwards. Virtual has made a video on this topic explaining the bug in more detail. Follow me game mode. The Follow Me game mode was a result of Nadeo experimenting with streamer viewer interaction in TM2. They combined this concept with a TV show-esque formula to create a new and unique way of playing Trackmania. In the Follow Me mode, the streamer creates a map and drives a target replay. The goal of the viewers is then to try to replicate the run as closely as possible to gain points and gather tickets. The more tickets you gain, the higher the chances you get picked for the finals. Four players then get chosen to play against each other in a final that occurs with the same goal, being as close to the target replay as possible. Where is Frostboiler? Frostboiler was a Swedish Trackmania tech player. He is a world champion, winning the ESWC World Cup back in 2008 and is one of the most successful Trackmania players ever, winning many LAN events. He retired from competitive play in 2015 to focus on streaming and casting, but completely disappeared around May 2016, leaving without saying anything to the community. Nobody had contact to him since. TM2 blocks have electricity. If you look into the textures of Trackmania 2 stadium blocks, you will see signs of the electricity pictogram on it. It's just a cool fact about the textures. Also, the side of the block light up letting you know where the Renstein is. You can also find cables and wires on some blocks in Trackmania 2 Canyon for example. This marks the end of part 1 of the Trackmania Iceberg series. We couldn't go into too much details but we hope we were clear about all the information here. If you don't understand something or have more questions, Feel free to ask in the comments, me and other players will try our best to answer you. If you want to watch the next part as they came out, consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be working on the next two parts as soon as possible. Thank you to everyone who watched this video and big thanks for all the people that helped during its creation. And have a great day!